Hello, I am Becca J. Norman. I designed the Felix and Felici fox pattern, and I wanted to show you how to sew the pieces together. I am gonna show you today on the head pieces because they're the weirdest looking ones of all of the pieces. Um, so of course you'll need a tapestry needle and your knitted head, top, and bottom. So like I say in the pattern, I always leave super long tails with stuffed animals because you wanna have plenty to work with without having to cut an extra piece of yarn, which only gives you more ends to weave in. And we're gonna be doing the mattress stitch, which is where you stitch through the horizontal leg between two stitches, and then the horizontal leg between two stitches on the other which here is this one. And then you just keep going, making sure you're not getting too far into the fabric, but staying on just the other side of that first row there, first stitch. And since there are increases here, it looks a little funny, but just keep at it. Make sure these don't get all knotted up on each other. Pull it fairly tight so you don't have a lot of gappage. And then you just keep working all the way down the edges like this, row for row. They should match up if you don't skip any. Now every few rows, you may notice that it looks a little bit gappy. So what you can do is, whoops, that's looped around there. Just give it a tug until they close up. It's that simple. That's why I love the stitch. It gives a really nice invisible seam. And as you're working, since stockinette tends to roll, you wanna unroll it and make sure you're still working along the edge and not like all the way over here. You may find that one side is a little bit tighter than the other, um, depending on your personal tension when you're knitting and purling. That's totally fine because it will even itself out on the other side because the opposite side of this one will be, for me this is looser and this is tighter, but it'll be the opposite on the other where the white one will be tighter and the orange will be looser. So it'll still be the same. And there's a little tug. You don't want to pull it so tight that it starts to gather up on itself, but a little bit tighter. And so now I'm going to keep working until this corner meets right here. Now we'll repeat on this side using the white tail. Don't worry too much about closing up the nose because we're going to come back later with some black yarn and embroider a little black point on the nose and that will close that up. So same thing, just do the edges all the way together until this corner meets with this edge. Here's how the head looks once the top and bottom are sewn together on the side selvages. You'll pause here and if you're using safety eyes, put in the safety eyes and then after that you can stuff it and then close this up. <laughs> 